Hi, and welcome to Tap into Teen Minds app review of the math app called Algebra Touch. Um, let's get right into it. If I click into that uh, app, it's uh, black with the X on it. I'll give it a click. You'll jump right into the app, and you'll notice it's a very simplistic app, easy to, uh, to maneuver around, only a few options at the top. Um, right when you come into the app, there's no, me no menus to deal with or to get started. It, it brings you right into the first topic, which is addition. So obviously, uh, you can start at a very early age with this app and kind of work your way through. Um, I'm going to jump to a topic uh, just to show us uh, uh, a few of the features. I'm going to click on order of operations. Um, you'll notice at the top there's also an explain as well as a practice tab. So in the top here, explain will bring up a little, a little, uh, you know, kind of step by step on what you need to do for that section. Um, in this case, you can just simply flip through the instructions and it will do the work for you. Or if I go back, it'll actually allow me to do a bit of the work by moving the terms or adding them together and so forth. So obviously with order of operations, we should be taking care of this multiplication first, but notice what happens if I click on the addition sign, it tells us that that isn't possible. But if I click on the multiplication, it will actually do the multiplication for us. So note that this isn't necessarily an app that's going to help numeracy skills in terms of you know improving addition or subtraction or uh, integers as well as multiplication and division. It's more or less teaching you how to work algebraically. Okay, so um, you know keep that in mind that they're not actually going to be doing the adding or the multiplying. It's more or less helping them with how to do it, um, and you know. I guess assuming that they know how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide already, um, now it's going to help us kind of take those those pieces and uh, and bring them a little bit deeper. So, first few things here, I'm I'm just going to jump right into the topic. I uh, introduced this app to my class on Friday. We were doing some basic equation solving in uh, grade nine applied math. And uh, you'll notice, obviously, it gives you a little tutorial here. I'm going to jump straight into the practice, and I'm going to give you, I guess, my take on it. Um, you'll notice at the top also you have a random button at the top right. So you can uh, pick the question that you want, easy or hard, I guess. And uh, also, when you start doing, um, doing some of the math, you'll notice here if I try to put those together, that's not possible. Um, you can also hit the restart button if you get yourself a little bit uh, in, a, in a bit of a pickle. So notice as soon as I grab the term, it's uh, really easy to, to grab a term and move it. A great thing here, if I want to bring my constants to one side, if I bring it over the equal sign, notice what happens to the sign. It will actually flip the sign for me. Okay, there's uh, some good and bad to that, I suppose, is that, you know, students, I prefer if they understand op opposite operations rather than just rules. Um, because I find rules are easier to forget, um, but for the sake of just getting you know the students comfortable with uh, with the equations, it's a great a great feature. Um, you'll notice here if I add these two constants together, we've now solved the equation, and I can click another and move on to the next. Okay, here this is uh, pretty cool as well. They'll note you'll notice this is a multiplication sign by clicking on the term it'll bring it together as negative 3x, or I can split it apart as negative 3 times x. I can bring that term to the bottom here, and we can do some dividing out, and we're good to go. So some pretty cool stuff now. Um, as we get going here, uh, a new update that they recently released that I really like, and it, and it addresses the issue of students just memorizing that, you know, if you bring a number to the other side, the sign flips, and so forth, if I click on the equal sign, it allows me to use opposite operations. So you can, in, you can instruct your students to click on the equal sign and say, okay, if you want to get rid of this negative 12, what must you do? Well, I know I must add, so I'll click the add button, and we'll write what it is that we want to add on both sides. So in this case, it's 12, and I'll submit. And what happens is I'm bringing a 12 to both sides, and guess what? When I put these guys together, that becomes zero. And now, that's gone. Okay, very, very cool stuff. So you can now use opposite operations, which is quite nice. Uh, so once again, equal sign, I'm going to subtract a negative 19. 
in this case, uh, I guess it's not showing us a subtraction sign. If I click plus, I need to add a negative 19. And I'll press submit. There's my negative 19. I can put him over here, get rid of him, get rid of the zero, and we're good to go. Okay. Once again, here I've got 6z. I know that's multiply. My students know that. So I'm going to click on the equal sign and we're going to divide both sides by 6. Very cool stuff. And the other cool feature is it won't just let you do the division uh, over here. Sorry, if I click on the uh, division sign, nothing will happen. They want you to actually pick some factors to do some canceling. So here I've got 2 times 15, 3 times 10, and 5 times 6. Well, we want students to realize that, you know what, if you pick 5 times 6, we'll be able to divide out our 6s and we'll get that answer. So very cool. Now, something I'm going to do, I'm just going to undo that two steps here. If uh, we get rid of this guy, if I pick something else, it's still going to work. It's, it's pretty cool. So for example, no matter what they pick, if they don't pick the best option, let's say they pick 3 and 10, this is still going to work. But what's going to happen is we're going to now need to break down the other numbers. Okay? I'm not done yet. I still need to break down this 10. And it's just going to take them a couple more steps, but they're still going to get there. So it's a really, really cool app. It allows students to uh, do a little bit of exploring. And then obviously the teacher has the ability to uh, take it a, a, a little bit further. Um, some of my students, I when we were introducing this app, I just wanted them to do some simple two-step equations. Some students moved on and they went to advanced and they were playing around with these advanced um, terms. And you know what? I mean, some of them were actually making out pretty good. They were probably doing a little bit of, uh, you know, trying to bring a term over and noticing it won't work. You know, what can I do here? Can I bring these together? Okay, I'm on, I'm on a roll here. What do I do with this 13? Oh, look at that. I can do something with it. And then just allowing them to kind of play around and then notice that, you know, now I'm back to a nice simple equation and I can still, you know, I can still go back and, and essentially play around with some topics that maybe I normally wouldn't um, have the option to do. So something pretty cool here. And with this one here, I guess it's leaving it as 2 over negative 1, or they want us to go back and maybe do something else, something that would have been uh, a little bit easier for us to, to work with. There you go. And there you go. So I guess it wanted us to divide out that negative, uh, that negative 1 to give us negative 2. So really cool stuff. Um, last feature I'm going to talk about before we end this video here is uh, is the my problems in the top right something cool that you can do once students are comfortable with the app is they can actually create their own problem sets uh, and then obviously allow them their friends maybe pass on their iPad to a friend to do them so they can click create a problem set so here they can type in uh, this is Pierce's problems and then I can actually go ahead and start creating some problems. So I could say 3x plus 6 equals uh, 20 and then save them. And once they've created some problems, their friends can actually start doing the problems that they've created. So some pretty cool stuff. Whoops, I brought the whole thing over. Let's do that again. So some pretty cool stuff here. And it looks like we're done there. It doesn't say another. You'll notice when it turns green in the background, it means the problem is done. Um, it doesn't have another because I don't have another practice problem for them to work on. So uh, very cool app. Uh, thanks for listening and visit tapintoteamminds.com if you uh, want some more information about the Algebra Touch app.